I believe that Pith is going to shock the world during this bull run and hypothetically go to the price of $10. And of course, that's not financial advice nor a guarantee. But why is that? It's because I think when we take a look at the Pith network, I think we're taking a look at something that could be so great. You know, after all, right, it is a blockchain oracle for market data. Now, when I say the word oracle, some people out there, they may think, wow, this sounds very complicated. What is this, right? Now, in simple terms, an oracle is basically a data feed that brings data from off the chain, right, off chain data, and brings that data over into the blockchain, which I think is very amazing. So yeah, that's basically what it is. And for instance, right, the Pith Network can provide price feeds for smart contracts. And catch this, when we take a look at how Pith themselves even say how they deliver real-time market data for crypto, equities, FX, which stands for foreign exchange, also on top of that, commodities to over 50 blockchains. I mean, just imagine that. That's insane. Now, we take a look at another crazy statistic because we take a look at how it also has over 95 major market participants, right? Which include Binance, Bybit, and even OKX as well. You know, those are three very big exchanges. So yeah, that's insane. Now, also on top of that, because it doesn't end there, right? We take a look at how currently Pith is facilitating over 500 data feeds and over 350 applications. I mean, that's insane. You know, I think that the Pith network is one of a kind, but there's more. Catch this, right? It's also heavily focused on decentralized finance, which of course, as we all know, stands for DeFi. And this market is no joke because some people out there, they like to clown, they like to say, wow, Pith, you know, I can't believe that it's heavily focused on decentralized finance. This is caca, man, this is trash. But According to Grandview Research, by the way, which is very reputable, they do predict that the DeFi market by 2030 is expected to be worth over $200 billion. So yeah, that's crazy. That's bigger than some countries' GDP, by the way. So when it comes to the DeFi market, there's a lot of potential there. And I think that Pith, they really do understand this, which is why, of course, they're focused on it. They're not going to be focused on something that has caca potential after all. The Pith network, it's very revolutionary. Now, with that being said, right, people out there, they like to complain and say that, wow, why would anyone choose the Pith network over something like Chainlink? Look at Chainlink, it's more developed. Now, here's the thing. The way I view it is that if I'm bullish on Chainlink, I'm also going to be bullish on Pith as well, because you take a look at the Chainlink decentralized Oracle network, you take a look at how Pith, right, again, it's a blockchain Oracle for market data. So they're pretty much kind of focused on the same sector, at least that's the way I view it. But the key is this, in my opinion, when we take a look at Link, right, the native token of Chainlink, market cap is over seven times higher than that of Pith as of right now. So the way I view Pith is that it's as if I'm accumulating Link, right, Chainlink's native token, you know, back in time when the market cap was around a billion dollars. You know, that's just the way I view it because, you know, they're pretty much focused on the same thing. And I do believe that, you know, there's a great need for oracles. So if I believe in Chainlink, I'm going to believe in Pith as well. So it's a no-brainer pick for me, really. And Pith at the price of $10 isn't insane. I mean, keep in mind, if it were to go to the price of $10, considering its current circulating supply, at that point, market cap would be around $36 billion. Isn't crazy, by the way. Really, it isn't. Because even though, yes, there's a number 36, you know, yes, I did say the word billion, people may freak out. They may think, wow, this is insane. But keep in mind, at one point, Dogecoin market cap was around $88 billion. So yeah, just let that sink in. At one point, SHIB, right, all-time high market cap was around $40 billion. So is a $36 billion market cap really crazy? That's over, right? $50 billion less than Dogecoin's all-time high market cap. This isn't insane in my opinion. So when I take a look at something like Pith, a very special, you know, at the price of $10, market cap wouldn't be unrealistic. And of course, I'm not saying I'm going to go all in right now. I'm not doing that. What I'm doing is I'm dollar cost averaging. So I'm putting incremental amounts anytime earn income and I'm just holding. You know, I'm not focused on the price in the next two hours, two days. I don't care about that. I'm focused on the peak of the altcoin season, which historically, right, we take a look at how altcoins usually peak anywhere between half a year to a year and a half after a Bitcoin halving event. Bitcoin halving event, of course, happened back in April. So six months, you know, half a year, that's October of this year, a year and a half is October of next year, which I don't think is so bad because that's more time for me to accumulate something like Pith because I do believe in it. And when I believe in something, of course, I want more time to accumulate. Why is that such a bad thing? I don't get it. You know, some of the critics out there, they may say, wow, Pith isn't even at the price of $5 as of right now. It's trash. It's caca. But come on, man. This isn't even supposed to be the time for altcoins to peak yet, historically speaking. So around a year from right now, I think things could look very different from what we're seeing currently, right? 
And especially when we consider the fact that how there's nearly 600 million crypto owners as we speak, according to crypto.com research, that's more than ever before in history. I mean, take into consideration, this altcoin season could look insane. Also, on top of that, you know, Bitcoin isn't even at the price of $100,000 yet, right? Let's say it goes beyond that to 150000 People, they start taking profits and they start flowing that into relatively smaller projects. Altcoins are going to go ham, in my opinion. It's going to go crazy in a good way. Of course, I'm not talking about Britney Spears. So when it comes to Pith, man, I think it's one of a kind. I'm going to continue to accumulate Pith. And I think at the price of $10 during the peak of this bull run, wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. I think it's that amazing. And I think it's that fantastic. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very interesting video. I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain. And I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.